Welcome back. Families and children have been a major topic of discussion on the campaign trail. Both sides of the aisle are acknowledging the need for more affordable child care and more child care options. Well, our Jalen Banks joins us now with whether these have resulted in people opting out of starting families in recent years. Jalen? Eric and Maddie, Vice President Harris on the campaign trail saying if she is in office, she would ensure a child tax credit. On the other side of the aisle, Re Republican Vice Presidential nominee J.D. Vance saying there should be more child care options when receiving federal money. But the question is, have these two issues and the overall cost of living deterred some people from wanting to start a family? Well, I caught up with one family physician to find out. Families and child care. We've heard it throughout the campaigns. Vice President Harris promising a child tax credit up to $6,000 and Republican vice presidential nominee J.D. Vance wanting more options for child care. Of extending, as I intend to do, the child tax credit to $6,000 for the first year of a child's life because that young family could use that money to buy a car seat, to buy a crib. Immediately, some would like to spend a little time home with the kids. Some would like to spend longer at home with the kids. We should have a family care model that makes choice possible. The sentiment being child care and options are expensive and at times limited. And speaking to one family physician, they say they have seen a shift in desires for people on starting a family. The factors include financial, so they're having to pay more for housing, more for bills, uh, more for food. Kroll also says she has seen a certain demographic opt out of starting a family. Less of the younger adults, and when we do talk to younger adults, it seems to be pretty congruent with what's been you know, presented in the media with the reasons why younger people are not having um, either as many or any kids now. That feeling being backed by data from the CDC. As we have seen a decrease in birth rates for women ages 20 to 24 drop 7% from 2021 to 2022. As for the Badger State, according to the Wisconsin Department of Health Services, birth rates for the state and Dane County are below the national average. However, there are multiple factors other than financial that may contribute to people opting out of starting a family. Uh, also, it's women wanting to be really focused on their careers. Um, there's also been a lot of information about people being um, concerned about the environment. Now, for more information on the cost of child care and other issues pertaining to this, you can find it on our website at channel3000.com.